All right, everybody. I'm here in Singapore with Mika and Ryan from Fig Agro Lab, and uh, this is the first time I've been here, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience so far. We had a chance to sit down and chat. Had the beautiful view of the San Marino Hotel. Was that right? Marina Bay. Marina Bay. Marina Bay Hotel. Amazing hotel. Um, and luckily for me, they actually went out and got some figs from Dato over in Malaysia. Um, that's a big deal because, I, for one, I haven't had any figs this year. So this is a good first time to get some fresh figs. And two, it's from Dato. <laughs> and I drove like four hours away. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All my here. So I appreciate that uh, that trip that they made to get some figs, um, and we're gonna actually taste some of them for you. I'm gonna actually let Mika introduce what varieties we have, and um, we'll all just kind of try some of the figs. So it's, it's a mix of at least a, a couple of a variety of cultivars here, and the most important thing that I wanted to showcase, and I wanted to make sure that Ben is able to enjoy in this part of the world, this is Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, figs. It's a fact of the matter that it's huge. That's yeah. the first thing, it's huge. And it's, it's naturally grown, um, and it's all organic. Can not hide, that's what I know. Uh, we have here, it's a mixture of uh, red sham. Which um, one is a red sham? I believe red sham will be this. Oh, red sham, and uh, we have super jumbo, and uh, that will call it super jumbo big. Yeah. All right, it's huge. It's huge. And my hands are not really that small either. Um, he's got a Balleris one as well. Okay. So these are the ones. And um, if you were to look at it, I've got another box there. I think it's pretty much similar to the, the key the key cultivars I've actually mentioned. Um, the fact of the matter, the osteos is in perfect condition. I, I just can't believe it. When I first saw it, we, we just fell in love with it. So we're gonna have to try this. Yes. I'm gonna leave Loves this. You, ben no, I'm, gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this honor to Ben. All right. So we, we kind of want want to share the love as well, and I hope you enjoy it, Ben. You must add that they are the best fresh figs from this part of the world. The best fresh figs from this part of the world. Nice. Okay. So I'm super excited for one to be here in Singapore with these two awesome people who know a great deal about figs, okay? They've studied it, researched it, looked at it from the street side to the book side, okay? Um, and growing actually here in a very tough environment. So it's not like Seattle where we get a lot of rain and dry summers. This is humid and hot, nothing that I can get used to. I got out of the car and I was dripping sweat. <laughs> and so you can imagine that condition on something like a fig that has a wide open eye um, and it can be prone to uh, growing fungus and mold in those type of conditions. So they work very hard to grow good, tasty figs and to find the best cultivars. So let's move on to what we're here for. We want to taste the figs that came out of Asia, right? Specifically Malaysia. Okay, this is a super jumbo. Uh, I'm actually going to break it first. Show you the inside of that. Nice and pink. Looks like it's just, just right there. Perfect. And then take a bite of this guy. Wow. That's good. My first fig of the year for 2018. And it's Yay. a super jumbo in Singapore. I'm gonna have to share this like I always do with the rest of the family. Um, but that's good, it's really juicy. It's really juicy. Uh, and you know, I mentioned this to Ryan before we started the video, but the heat here is gonna bring out all that sugar. You know, up in Seattle, our heat units go up to 70, 80 max, never in the 90s as much as we'd like it to be. Um, so the figs on certain cultivars are very sweet but it doesn't bring it out on certain varieties. Mm. So, um, Super Jumbo might be more melony in Seattle, but here it's sweet, really sweet. And it's good. Let's try this other one. This one, Valeris, maybe? 
plus one. Yeah, well, let's, let's break it open. This one's a little bit less red in it, but the, um, it looks a little bit juicier. Let's try this one out. Not as sweet as the Super Jumbo, surprisingly, but it has more of a, that, I hate to call it figgy taste, and it's a little bit lighter. I like kind of like the melony tones. Um, so this is really good to me. Yeah, definitely have more of that figgy taste about it. Pink. Brazilian XP, okay. I've just learned about this variety today. Um, and I know that I have not seen this in the US through anybody that I know. This is called Brazilian XP. Um, and it has more of that kind of um, whiny color versus pink or red, which is really interesting. Before I actually even bite into this, I'm not sure if we should even divulge how this got here. <laughs> Top secret. Let's give this guy a try. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Nice. It, it is incredibly syrupy. And it coats your tongue in the top of the, uh, the roof mm. of your mouth. Yeah. What an interesting fig. I mean, it looks like it's so hard to tell. When somebody asks me, hey, what fig is this? What fig is this? Really hard to tell until you taste it and you have the ripe fruit and the leaves to compare it to. Um, so if somebody looked at all these figs and said, oh, that's the same variety, they just came all wonky in different shapes. No, this is clearly a very good fig and different fig. Brazilian XP. That's really good. It's really good. So far, that's one of my favorite wines my favorite from this. Is, uh, just the, the way it coats your tongue has just the right amount of sugar. Mm. That's amazing. And this one, Different neck altogether. No neck, actually. Variety, Mika. I haven't got a clue anymore. <laughs> I know. It gets hard. It gets hard. But let's figure it out. By taste. Yes. Okay. Um, it's something I've learned over here. They're not called greenhouses. Mm. <laughs> They're called rain, sheds, rain shelters. Or rain shelters. You know, we have to have greenhouses in Seattle because, you know, of all the rain and the cold months to keep our figs warm. Here, we have to have rain shelters to keep the rain off of them uh, to keep the figs looking the way they do. Let's try this guy out. Does it taste the same as uh, any of the other? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Does this one actually is not as sweet. Probably, out it's of all of them, my least favorite one. Okay. Yeah, Brazil and XP is a different story though. Uh, this has a much lighter flavor. Mm. It's not figgy. Uh, is it ripe yet? No, definitely ripe. Starchy? I can't describe it as honey, you can't describe it as strawberry. Is it heavy? It's more melony tone. So mm. Yeah, but very light. But very light. But all the figs here have kind of a sim sim similar quality. It's very fluffy. Mm. I've tried um, like Genovese Nero, where when you bite into it, it is a thick, Gel. syrupy mm. kind of pulp, right? These have kind of more fluffy taste. Maybe it's the environment. Yeah, maybe the environment, how it's grown, um, but still very good. Very good. I, li I like the mouth feel. Right? Mm. Sometimes, with, you know, I, I don't want to eat strawberry jam. You want to eat something that gives it a little texture, a little kind of fluffiness about it. And these have that quality. They're very good. Figs in Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me, you guys. Um, check out Fig Agro Lab and, and, and some of the stuff they're doing. Check out what Dato is doing. Uh, they've got Facebook pages. I'll put a link on that uh, so that you guys can check out some of the figs here in Asia, specifically Singapore, Malaysia. Um, 
good things are happening over here, and you know, I feel like the movement of figs have, have, have kind of shifted, right? It's not just coming out of the Mediterranean, it's not just coming out of the U.S., it's, it's international. Um, and Asia has a really huge booming fig business here. Um, it's tough to grow, but it's totally worth it. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.